so the, the, the question of what tools and what programming languages comes up a lot. And, uh, you know, for me, there's really two answers to that question because there are two major kinds of games. There are sort of big hardcore games and then there are um, big casual games. And I say big because people think of casual games as being little, but they're actually a lot more complex than you might think. So if you want to make games that are going to be on a console or they're 3D and they're going to be um, complex um, an animation models, then uh, you should know C++ or some other form of object-oriented programming. You should know C++. Right? There's really no substitute for that. Um, and if you want to do um, casual games and web-based games, you should definitely know Flash uh, and, and probably HTML5 at this point. And uh, then there are a bunch of other supporting casts of programming languages that you can know, and you need to be flexible and a fast learner. So game designers, it's really great for them to know, in some cases, uh, scripting languages. So whether it's Lua or you know, uh, some other scripting language, you'll, depending on what environment you're in, if you're a systems designer, you might actually be writing some code that ends up in the shipping game. And uh, plus you also need to know what it is the programmers do so that when you ask them for something, you really know what you're asking them for.